Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. The price is hardly moving, continues to be in this range down here. Ethereum is generally holding quite well. Yeah, it's not sliding down or anything, it's really holding well. The problem is we've been in this sideways range basically for a month now and it's starting to get a bit boring, it's getting a bit draining. Trying to look for, look for trade setups here that could take us out of this range. There are some, you know, and we are following through at the moment, but only very slowly. And it's not the final confirmation yet that we are going to get out of the range here. And the point is, as long as we stay below $1,400, there is a, a real risk of um, another low in this green range here, which is um, sitting between 1130 and uh, 1280. Yeah, this is the range that we defined already. I think it was up here and then once more up here just a focus to come down really to get into this area in a wave two correction and that all worked out while the ethereum um ethereum merge fans waited for new highs of course the market did the opposite and came down as per the elliott wave count and we're now hovering here and we need to make sure that to maintain obviously this setup a one two setup which is a good setup yeah, a good long setup. We need to hold though the $1,000 level and then we can move up in a wave three. And that could take us to $3,000. The point is this level here, the $1,000 level needs to hold. Even better would be to hold the 1130 level because that is, if I draw the FIPS, that is the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level. Um, as you can see here, 1130 and the 88.7% FIB level sits at $1,015. I've um, I've moved it to a thousand basically just because it's a nice and round number. But yeah, it's basically in this in this range, the 88.7% FIB level, if the price drops below that level, it will not be good for this setup and it will risk that invalidation of this one, two long setup occurs. <clears throat> and that invalidation will occur if we drop below 880. So my view is as soon as we drop below thousand dollars, we will also probably retest and break that $880 level from um, June, the low, and will then possibly in the first instance see the 650 US dollar level, which is a significant support level. It's also based on Fibonacci levels, and that's why I've got the 650 level. Um, but other than that, at the moment, the price is holding support here, and we can be looking at a possible wave three to the upside. Um, that doesn't really need to be based on Bit on a Bitcoin rally, right? I mean, even here, yeah, Ethereum did break resistance, Ethereum did rally, um, Bitcoin didn't break resistance. So they have decoupled already. So it's not like um, they have, they are correlated, of course, you know, they sort of go roughly in the same direction, but they are not really that much correlated anymore, at least not since June. That's sort of what I observe. Um, because um, yeah, Ethereum broke that important resistance level and Bitcoin just didn't. Yeah, Bitcoin failed at resistance. So they did different things over the last few months, which is also why Ethereum is currently in a much better position than Bitcoin. And I think this is a sign of maturity of the crypto market. It's starting to look really, really interesting. I mean, this is eventually what you look for, right? This is what the stock market is doing as well. Yes, they all sort of barely or roughly move in the same direction, but you still get one stock doing this, get another stock doing that, you know, they, they move differently um, to, to a certain degree. And the same is what I would like to see in the crypto market. And we might be seeing that now. I mean, the, the bear market might actually be a good sort of catalyst for finally get that done because there are coins which have decent trade setups, decent long setups. All the other ones are just sliding down, um, which doesn't mean they have a good short setup. Some of them are just sort of sliding and you don't really get a clear a clear setup because it's just sort of trolling around. Um, but there are a few coins that have a good setup. Um, and you know, these coins have a potential to decouple themselves. I mean, Quant is one of them. Quant obviously already moved. We've got Matic. I think this is a decent chart. We've got Ethereum. Then we've got here Aave, maybe Metis. Um, but there aren't many. There are not many, right? So at the moment, I'm observing ETH. And uh, there is certainly a potential it could move up from here in this one, two setup to three thousand dollars all we need is maybe a little bit of a catalyst a little bit of a rally um and i think eth could get moving break out of the range and move up of course as i said as long as we stay below 400 1400 dollars there is still a real oops there is still a real risk for another low in this range 
the point is that if we don't break out of $1,400, this could be an Elliott wave triangle, talked about that in the last videos, which would expect that after you peak in a wave E, you come down once more, that is fine, and then the wave four wouldn't have finished here, it would finish where the wave four, uh, wave E is, and then you just make your wave five down. So, but that would not um, threaten the longer term, um, let's say bullish scenario. So at the moment, this is still possible. It will only be threatened below a thousand dollars. And if we now go in and zoom in, um, not much to add really since yesterday's video, we are still in a possible long trade setup here after we hit support, um, we hit support here. Th those were two long trade areas. We are basically above them at the moment. At the moment, we're not really following through here. Yeah, the only way, <clears throat> the only way to make this still work would be that we say, okay, we had um, we had here our wave one two. This is the wave three. <clears throat> not finished yet. Yeah, and that within the wave three, we had we had we had the one two three four and the five would be next. So ideally we would want to see a follow through if we already cut into wave one price range, which we haven't done that uh, yet. But if we go below 1307, I said that yesterday in the video, then it would already threaten this particular scenario because you then you will then have an overlap between waves one and four. Um, it could still count as a diagonal pattern, but it will make it less reliable. So I would want to see one more leg up to confirm a wave three that should get into the region around 1330 ideally, yeah, um, or just below that. But that's what I'm looking for here. Um, again, a drop below 1307 will make the thing or less likely. And what we eventually need to hold to maintain this count is the 1295 level. And um, yeah, that is sort of what we're looking at at the moment. It's a, it's a quiet weekend anyway. But if we look at the chart here, you could see this as um, a descending uh, wedge, which you could consider a bullish pattern. We're moving into the apex here and we might get a bit of a breakout today at some point uh, in a few hours. Let's see. And um, if this is a descending wedge, then you would consider that as a breakout to the upside. But of course, we don't know until we see the actual breakout. OK, and that's my update about um, Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.